watching porn! <laughs> oh, look at all it. Anyway, well, wow. <laughs> I think that's a new bottle. <laughs> anyway, man, NoFab November, day 18. If you are not pumped, then get pumped. This is good stuff. All right. So today, I've got something awesome to share with you guys. And maybe this is something you already know and I'm new to the game, whatever. I have no idea. But it's working out well. It's been helpful to me lately. As I said in some previous videos, I've been having some really serious temptations lately. Didn't break, but really serious temptations uh, for several days in a row. It was just on and on and on. Just a grueling battle. And so I definitely know, definitely still know what it's like to be in that fight. I'm not out of touch here or anything. This is still very real, very personal to me. <clears throat> but uh, there's something that I that I started to do that seemed to make it a lot easier. This is not like an overall, whoa, totally change your strategy, change your life kind of thing. This is more like just a little tactic that um, that I used with a lot of su success over those few days. And so this really is, I didn't realize it at first, but this is originally from some of the mindset stuff I've said. I read Guerrilla Mindset by Mike Cernovich, which is an excellent book. And this actually talked about the concept that I started unconsciously using. And I didn't make the connection that that was what it was until today. So, I mean, I guess credit to, uh, to Mike Cernovich and, and the mindset community in general, because this has been a thing for a while. But what it is is basically the idea of visualization or specifically visualizing success. And to make it specific to apply to this particular situation, when I was facing really serious temptations and I was at that, almost at the breaking point where I was like, ah, you know, you know what I mean here if you've been there, where it's just like, this is, I, you don't even know what you want to do and it's just, and it's just agonizing, just this kind of tug of war between what you know you should do and what you want to do. And what I ended up doing in a lot of those situations was I started to visualize the next hour, few hours, or the rest of the day what it would be like if I said no, if I rejected the temptation and then went ahead with something productive, something meaningful, instead of sitting around like a cuck watching some girl get nailed by some other dude or some other girl or some other weird alien monster from Japan, who knows what it is. But having something to say yes to instead of just saying no to temptation over and over and over again, uh, it's helpful, it does make it easier. And so to visualize the rest of your day as a success and to say yes to that, and no to the temptation is easier than just saying no to those urges. And you know what, saying no to the urges does work. This is kind of the, the strategy that I've been using for, uh, for the whole 16 months of being off porn now. So yeah, it worked for 16 months in a row and counting. So it's not that that doesn't work, it's just that, hey, this seems to make it a little bit easier. So, so let's talk about it, that's great. If we can make it easier, that is awesome. The easier it is, the, the better. You know, the easier it is, the more people can do it. And that's kind of the goal here is to get as many people on this train as possible. Get as many people on this no-fat train as possible because that, I really do believe, is going to have an impact on the world. When people really start getting this cuckoldry out of their minds and they start living in a way that is more right, more righteous, more manly, and men start being men again, that's going to flip the world upside down. And that is fantastic because we need a good flipping. So, visualizing it. Visualizing success for the next hour, even the next few minutes or so, whatever it is. Just giving yourself something to say yes to immediately. Not even necessarily some future far off goal or anything like that. Because we, we commonly think about, well, if I stick with it for this long and this long and this long, then maybe my life will change in these certain ways. And, you know, if I can quit porn for a year, then, well, that'll be totally awesome. And that's good. It's good to have those long-term goals. But in the meantime, when you face these really serious, immediate temptations, it's good to have immediate goals. It's good to have an immediate vision in your head, too. It's good to picture... Uh, create a picture in your head of what things are going to be like now if you say no to that temptation. So like, 
I'm, you know, sitting around, I'm facing <laughs> some really bad temptations, and I'm at kind of the decisive point. It's like either either this is going to happen or I'm going to totally counterattack and turn this around. It's, it's got to go either way now. The fight is drawing to a close, and it's reaching the decision point. And now... And it, when I'm in that moment, I would think, okay, I could give in, and then I'll go through all that regret and stuff later on, and, and it'll suck, and I'll have to hop on YouTube and make a video saying, hey guys, man, this sucks, but I'm, I messed up, and <sighs> which would suck, I, you know, all, all of that would be awful, and I, I don't want any of it, on so many levels, I don't want any, any of that. And I know that, and I knew that then, but temptation is strong. Temptation is very strong. And so what I would do is I would create a picture of my head of the rest of the day, okay? What's it going to look like if I just say no? Okay, well, life will go on. You know, the rest of my day is actually going to be pretty good. My well-being, my happiness, my contentment right now actually isn't contingent on giving into this temptation. You see, this temptation, it tells you lies. It wants you to think that you'll only be happy, you'll only be satisfied if you do this stuff. But if you just show yourself, picture in your mind what the rest of your day is actually going to be like if you say no, if you forego this opportunity, if you, say, if you deny yourself that gratification, and you picture what that looks like, what the rest of your day looks like there, you realize it's not so bad because what these temptations do is it tries to create a fear of missing out. It tries to create a fear of losing something is what it feels like. It tries to create this fear of passing up on what your hormones and your body and your instincts are convinced is a great opportunity. And it just isn't. And you've got to... I mean, you don't got to. I didn't for the longest time, but it's really helpful to picture in your mind what's really going on here, you know? What are the two sides of this really looking like? And create that picture in your mind of the right choice, of the right outcome, and then be able to say, hey, yeah, you know what? That's pretty cool. I'm going to do that. So yeah, visualization. Excellent, excellent technique. I, I can't believe I didn't realize that before, but you know, better late than never. <laughs> it has been hugely helpful. I hope you guys get a lot out of it. I hope it's really, really helpful to you guys. I'm, um, I would actually be interested to see how that works out for you guys, whether I'm just crazy and this is something. So try it out when you face these temptations and stuff, because I know we all do. Try it out, see, see how it does for you. And then shoot me a message or leave a comment and let me know, because I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. It's really interesting. It's really it's been really, really helpful to me, and I want to know how it does for y'all, so let me know. But yeah, in the meantime, no fap November. Keep it up, guys. This is good stuff, and I say this every single video, but if you messed up, just keep going. Finish strong here. It's not about November. This is about the rest of your life. The rest of your life starts now, so let's do this thing, all right? And let's kill it. So whew, until next time, take it easy. Y'all have a lovely, lovely, lovely porn-free day, then week, then month, then year, rest of your life, all that good stuff. Take it easy, but not too easy. Subscribe to this here channel because there's going to be more, more, and more, and more, and more. Unless I fall over dead on the way inside. I don't know. I, I might not even survive to upload this video. That would be a tragedy, right? But anyhow, I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy. God bless you guys. Have a lovely day. It's going to be great. Okay, We are all going to make it. So uh, We'll see you next time. And I'm, ser I'm serious, by the way. Let me know how this visualization stuff works out. If I'm just crazy or if this is actually like, whoa, 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 this is awesome. So do that. Look forward to hearing from you all.